These are two things which are going completely unused in today's world. This is the main reason for depression. If you had to do only physical jobs, you eat one way, mental things another way. So eating the right kind of food becomes very necessary. That means you are in ill health or you are heading there quickly, both physical and psychological. If this is achieved, you have reasonably complete human beings who live their life fully. The word health comes from the root word whole, that means feeling healthy means to be complete, a sense of wholeness within ourselves. For this to happen, our body should be vibrant, our physical energies must be vibrant, our mind must be joyful, emotion must be exuberant. Only then you feel a sense of wholeness. Essentially, within the human being, there is a certain allotment of energy for action, certain allotment of energy for intellect, certain allotment of energy for emotion. Like this, there are various allotments. This differs from person to person, but generally, the amount of energy allotted for… particularly for physical action and emotional dimension, these are two things which are going completely unused in today's world. This is the main reason for depression, believe me. Any number of children that they bring to me f with all kinds of mental ailments, I just tell them first thing is some sport that they like, swimming, tennis, something and music. These two things you bring into their life, within three months, most of the children, eighty to eighty-five percent of the children will recover quite wonderfully. Because without finding expression to their emotional dimension and if without finding enough exertion for the physical body, they are bound to become depressive. Today it's become like this, sunrise means they watch it on the phone screen, sunset means they watch it on the so phone screen, yes? <laughs> so losing connection with all that supports and manages our life is going to be a serious challenge of the future. But this is one thing that you can do if you have children, vacation means don't take them to Mumbai, Bangalore, Dubai, some other place. Just take them, walk them in the jungle or take them on a small boat out there or whatever. Some exposure to nature is needed, you will see how excited children will get and how involved they will become. You need to understand this, your physical, your physiological and psychological health can be very easily managed if you are in touch with the elements of nature, of water, soil, light and things like that. If the more exposed you are, the more balanced you are both physiologically and psychologically, which must happen to every human being. In this country, we made food like this. If you had to do only physical jobs, you eat one way, mental things another way. But today none of us are in that condition, we have to be both physically sharp and mentally sharp, isn't it? That exclusivity of just physical work and mental work is gone, all of us need to be physically good and mentally good. So eating the right kind of food becomes very necessary, particularly some of the things were very, very positive or the ash god. If you consume a glass of Ashford juice every day, you will see clearly the sharpness of your intellect will enhance itself, you'll be mentally much sharper than the way you are right now. Especially children must drink Ashford juice. Daily consumption of Ashford, you will see distinctly your mind seems to be clearer and sharper. This will be noticeable within a few weeks of consumption of Ashford. If you drink coffee, it gives you energy with agitation. You drink a glass of Ashford juice, it gives you enormous amount of energy. At the same time, it keeps you very, very calm. Daily consumption of honey can do wonderful things to you, especially if you have children at home. Make honey culture part of your thing. Psychological stability, physical well-being, vitality, all these things can be greatly enhanced simply consuming daily honey.
do you know, whatever cleansing process that happens in the body, whether emptying your bowels or emptying your bladder or exhalation or sweat, these are all different ways the body is trying to clean itself. In all these things, different bodies have different levels of efficiency. If you are in good health, if you are in very good health and if you are eating the right kind of food, when you empty your bowels, nothing, not a speck should remain in your colon. Everything should be gone. In yoga, that's very, very important, your colon being clean. Otherwise, it'll get into your head. Really, your colon not clean and psychological disturbances are very directly connected. In the yogic understanding of life, after you wake up, Within twenty minutes, naturally if the bowels don't empty themselves completely, that means you're in ill health or you're heading there quickly, both physical and psychological. It could be either, depending upon whichever is weakest in you, will break fast. First thing if you go to an Ayurvedic doctor, whatever your problem, first thing is he'll purge you, because keeping the colon clean is very important. There are only four things with you right now that you can make use of – your body, your mind, your emotion and your energy. If you manage these four things well, they will produce a certain level of life for you. If you have a healthy body, you will live in one way. If you have a very stable and sharp mind, you will live another way. If you have stable and exuberant emotions, you live another way. If you have a very effervescent sense of energy, which is also balanced at the same time, you live another way. Now, for most human beings who are in different various levels of activity in their life, they need all these four things to be in a reasonably good shape. So Inner Engineering is trying to cater to that as to how to bring a human being to physical health, mental peace and joy, emotional stability and exuberance and highly effervescent energy and balance within themselves. If this is achieved, you have reasonably complete human beings who will live their life fully. Isha Kriya is an extremely simple process ale równocześnie potężnym narzędziem. Te trzy składniki – twój oddech, twoja myśl i twoja świadomość. Jeśli użyjesz ich we właściwej kombinacji, twoja zdolność do korzystania z umysłu i ciała stanie się tak bardzo usprawniona, że dla kogoś z boku wyglądasz niemal jak super człowiek. Ale mówię ci, to jest ludzkie. Tu nie chodzi o bycie super człowiekiem, lecz o uświadomienie sobie, że bycie człowiekiem jest super.